Good evening, Mr. Rivas. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Where? Good evening, Sonia. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Ready to participate? Yes. Great. Excellent. Volunteer, volunteer. <laughs> okay. All right. We are just waiting for the rest of your classmates to join the class so we can start, okay? So let's see here. Oh, I can see Evelyn is also in the class. Good evening, Evelyn. And Miguel also. Good evening, Good evening Miguel. Good evening, Good evening Reina. This is a listener. Thank you very much for joining the class. Truly really appreciate it. So let's see here. Very good. Excellent. So I can see more people also joining the class. Mr. Custodio, hello. Mr. Pardo, hello, hello. All right. And Edwin, who is joining the class right now. All right. Well, well, well. Uh, officially, good evening and welcome to our last class from this course, right? So, uh, you know, it has been actually um a long journey right so to finish this intermediate one right so but i'm really happy in that for all of you who have been participating improving right in your english level right so thank you guys for uh, participating actively in the class for joining the class every single day and for uh, working on the platform right so well officially everybody welcome okay and Let's just start with the first activity for tonight, which is this one. You know, we cannot finish our classes if we don't have this activity that has been a tradition now in all uh, the single classes, right? So, ton twisters. So, ton, ton, ton twisters we have right here. So, let's just practice it, all right? So, we can check it out. But first, let me help you with the pronunciation of the words because the words are basically the same, right? So, but we need to go in... Pronouncing, 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 sorry, 
um, in different positions, right? So in different order. So we are going to be having a little bit difficult, uh, the difficulty here, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's say this one. This one, we pronounce it like this. You will see. This one is like, look. It will be like, look. Pronunciation, of course, right? Look. This one is lock. All right. Then you go to the next one right here, which is likes. Likes. And then we have this one right here, which is lakes. Lakes, like this one. All right, so we have like, look, lock, lakes. Also, look, lock, likes, lakes. Like this one, the first of this one. Look, lock, likes, lakes. Look, lock, likes, lakes. Look, lock, likes, lakes. So we had that uh, order right there, all right? So then we continue with the next one here, which is the following. And then, you know, remember this one right here, which is look, things is duck, like that one, like duck. All right. And then you go on the next one right here, which is like similar to the ones at the top, of course, right? So do you have questions about like the words that we are uh, practicing right now in this tongue twister? All right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. No questions about the words? So you know how to pronounce them? Back. Back. Okay, so let's see. It says, look, lock, lakes. Sorry, look, lock, likes, lakes. Looks, duck, likes, lakes. Look, lock, leaks, lakes. Looks, duck, leaks, lakes. Duck, takes, leaks, in, lakes, lock, lock, likes, etc. Right? So, very good, very good, very good. Excellent. So, let's say this one. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. All right? So, questions, questions? Vocabulary? No, 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 no. So, good evening to everybody who joins the class right now. So, which it means, Mr. Membreño. Or Edwin, Guillermo, Jill, um, Catherine, and Henry Vani. All right. So good evening, guys. Good evening. So we are practicing this tongue twister, right? So I just left the pronunciation there. And it's your duty to practice it right now. Do you have questions about the words here, the pronunciation? Yes or no? What do you say, leaks? This one, you mean? This one? L -I -C -K -S, L-I-C-K-S. Oh, leaks, this one right here? Leaks? Yeah. You want to you wanna know the pronunciation or the meaning? Hello? What? Do you want to know the pronunciation or the meaning? No, the pronunciation. Leaks. Leaks. Correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> almost time, almost time, almost time. Almost time. <laughs> All right, almost time to pronounce this one. Couple of seconds, couple kind of seconds, couple of seconds. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's see if I have more people joining the class. I have Ursula also and Nuria. Good evening, girls. Good evening, teacher. All right, all Good right. Evening, teacher. 
Yeah, to volunteers more for pronouncing the tongue twister. Excellent. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. So let's continue with this one. Almost time, almost time. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Very good, time's up everybody. So now we are going to verify your pronunciation with this tongue twister right here. So tell me who is going to be my first volunteer? Mm -hmm. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> no volunteers. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Look, look, likes, lakes. Looks, duck, likes, lakes. Look, look, licks, lakes. Looks, duck, licks, lake. Duck, take, licks in lakes. Look, 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 likes. Look, uh, look, takes, lick in lakes, duck, likes. Excellent. Thank you very much, right? So you were doing a very good job. I know it's a hard one, right? But you actually handled it correctly, right? One little detail there, but that's okay, my friend. You did it wonderfully, right? So thank you very much for this one. Thank you. So who's my next volunteer? Yes, who's my next volunteer? Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. No volunteers. Hey, thank you, Evelyn. That's the attitude. So go ahead, my friend. Okay. Look, look, likes, legs, looks, that likes, legs, look, look, licks, like, legs, looks, that licks, legs, duck, takes, licks, in legs, look, look, likes, look, look, takes, licks, in legs, duck, likes. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so you did also a very good job. Thank you. All right, Mr. Rivas, Henry Giovanni, please go ahead. Okay, teacher. Look, look, likes, legs. Looks, duck, licks, legs. Looks, duck, licks, legs. Duck, takes, licks, and legs. Look, look, likes. Look, look, takes, licks, and likes. Duck, licks. <laughs> likes all right very good excellent thank you very much all right thank you for the effort really appreciate it right i know it's difficult but you were doing it super good all right thank you my friend really appreciate it who's my next volunteer next 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 mm -hmm. tell me mr pardo what a surprise the last class all right go ahead my friend okay look look legs no likes legs Looks dark like legs. Look like licks legs. Looks dark licks legs. Look they licks in legs. Look 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 legs. Look right. look take lick in take look legs. Thank you, right? That was actually super good. Congratulations, my friend, and thank you for participating, Mr. Pardo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so, aha, uh -huh, I can see the next volunteer is Ursula. Hello, Ursula. Hello, teacher. And then I go with Nuria. Okay, go ahead. I tried. I tried. Okay. Um, look, look, like, place, look, talk, like, place, look, look, like, 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 look, dog, lick, lick, dog, take, lick, in, lick, look, dog, like, look, look, take, lick, in, take, dog, like. Great job. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. So that was actually super good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, my friend Ursula. Good job as usual. So let's see where's Nuria, Nuria. I saw you raise your hand before. Oh, there you are. Okay. Go ahead. Look, look, likes, lakes, looks, duck, likes, lakes, look, look, licks, lakes, look, duck, licks, lake, duck takes licks in lakes, look, look, likes, look, mm -hmm. luck, look, 
takes leaks in lakes, duck lights. All right, very good, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend, as well. You were doing good, 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 excellent. So, let's see, I have some people who haven't participated. Who's gonna be my next volunteer? I have there Sonia, Noé, eh, Jill, Guillermo, Evelyn. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, Jill. Jill. Thank you. Oh, okay. We we'll go with Jill first and then Sonia, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Look, look, likes, leg. Mm -hmm. uh, look, look, like, leg. Uh -huh. um, Look, duck like lake. Look, lock like lake. Looks, locks, ducks like licks lake. Duck take like in lake. Look, lock like. Look, lock take licks in lake. Duck like. Duck, duck likes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And thank you very much for trying. I truly appreciate it, right? I know it's difficult, but I'm happy that you're trying. Thank you, Jill. Good job. So let's see. Where's Sonia? Sonia, Sonia. Okay. Okay, look, go ahead. Look, look, lace. Perdón. Look, look, like lace. Look, die, like lace. Look, look, like lace. Look, back, like lake. Do takes leaks in like look, uh, lock likes, uh, lock look takes leaks in take do like. Right, excellent. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Right, so that was super super good. All right, thank you. All right, we're going to stop right here practicing this on Twister. I want to say good job to everybody who participated because I know that this is one of the hardest tongue twisters we have practiced during the whole course. And I'm really glad that you were doing it in a super nice way. So thank you and congratulations. Now, let me clean here the screen so we can continue with the next activity for today. So let's see what is it. Mm -hmm. One second, this is the one, all right? So this is going to be a review, 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 all right? So it says right there, okay, can someone help me to read the instructions here? Any volunteer for reading the instructions? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Miguel, go ahead. Uh, put the words in the right order and match the sentences with the pictures. Okay, excellent. So I do apologize right there, but we don't have pictures, right? So we are just going to put the words in the right order, right? That's it. Thank you very much. So now we are going to start right now with the number one right here. Um, eh, but, you know, to work on this one, people, we are going to go to the breakout room so you can take the time to analyze it and do it calmly, right? So let me verify here. How are you going to work tonight in the breakout rooms? So let's see here. Uh, Mr. Carlos Rivas, are you there? Not there, listener. Okay, Edwin Galdames. Edwin, Edwin. No problem, my friend. No worries. Uh, Henry, ready? Yes, teacher. Thank you, my friend. So, Mr. Oops. Mr. Pardo, ready? Yay. Okay. So, let's see. Repeat, teacher. I was just asking if you're ready to participate. Yes. Okay, yes, so let's sure, see. Yes. very good, excellent. So, and then we have this one right here. Evelyn? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, so it says here that Maritza and Reina are listeners, no problem. Guillermo? Good evening, my friend. Guillermo, Guillermo. Well, no there. Sonia? Hello, teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Miguel Angel? 
Yes, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Luna, what a surprise. Ready, teacher. Thank you, my friend. All right, Ursula. Ready, teacher. Great, excellent. That's the attitude there, all right? Mr. David, you will go as a listener, all right? So, Catherine and Noé? Yes, yes. Great, 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 great. Excellent. And Nuria, Jill, and Daniel, all right? Ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, my friend says energy, my friend. Well, let's see here. Perfect, perfect. So I have organized this one. So let's just go ahead and get into groups. All right. So remember that you are going to organize these sentences right here, right? So please go ahead and check it out. So let's see here. Okay. Access to the rooms right now, people, please. If someone can take a screenshot, if not, we'll send it right now. No worries. Let's see. There you go. Oh, Giovanni sent it. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's see. Hello, hello, you finished? Hello? No, teacher. All right. You can discuss this so you can help each other, right? We work, work in teams. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. I will visit a different room right now. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? There you go. Any questions? Uh, not teacher. Marita, 
eh, no sé si será por mi señal o qué, pero no me parece la, lo que está compartiendo. La imagen. Right ah, now, sí, I guess it sí. was loading, just right now. Ok, ahorita sí me apareció. Okay, did you finish? Almost, teacher. Great. Because we only have a couple of minutes more to finish. Awesome. Well, I am going to visit a different room. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? Okay. Questions, Hello, teacher. questions, questions. Yes, in the first one, teacher. Uh, no. I don't know the the mom will do washing this evening, but I don't don't know. Uh, where put the the expression up in the question mark in number one you said yes mm -hmm. yes so you see the mom will do washing up seria washing, washing up. up correct 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 mm -hmm. washing up mm -hmm. and What's the meaning washing up? Washing is wash the clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, washing is uh, a lot, right? So then we have washing up, up as the as a phrasal verb in that case. You know what is a phrasal verb? Yes? Yes. All right. So in that yes. one will be just like lavar as well. Mm -hmm. Now, normally washing up se refiere como al lavado de los platos, like doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. The mom will washing up this area. Mm -hmm. Entonces, so, it's washing up. It's, it's the same when you say wash the dishes. Uh, do the dishes will be the correct one. Do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Do the dishes. Okay. The second is a question. Yes. So will will Mike will will Mike will Mike play video game video game again? Okay, okay, guys, uh, we are going to return to the main session because we had to work in something related to the survey. Okay. <laughs> no worries, we're going to finish later. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> will.
Okay, well, welcome back to the main session. So we are going to go ahead right now and um, proceed to work on the survey, right? So let's see here. Let me just share the link. The link is in the WhatsApp group. So the message was sent earlier today. So let's just go ahead and follow the instructions that are there. I'm going to, this is the link. There is the link, so you can click on it. And the information that you need to fulfill, it's this one. As I said before, this is also in the WhatsApp group, but you can also see it in the chat here. Remember that you have to take a screenshot um to once once you finish that and send it to the whatsapp group is that clear guys yes teacher yes teacher All right. Right. yes correct yes. okay all right all the information you need it's there all right so but if you have questions, please let me know. I can definitely help you. And if I don't know the answer, so we have someone here in the group that, that can help us now. Acá dice que usted proporcionará el número completo en la primera pregunta. Uh -huh. De orden de inicio, ¿qué número necesita? Hello, hello. Sí, el número de... Será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiar y pegarlo. Eh, vaya, la información que les acabo de copiar aquí en el chat de Zoom es la que ustedes van a ir colocando, entonces se la vayan eh, solicitando. Orden de inicio con guiones. Sí, correcto. Aquí está ya en el vi, chat. Ya lo vi. Ya lo vio. Donde dice datos del curso. Uh -huh. Please remember, once you finish filling the survey, you have to send a screenshot to the group with your name.
In case you have questions, please let me know. Did you finish, guys, or not yet? No, teacher. Bah, ok, no problem. Por favor, no se les olvide, okay. al finalizar la encuesta, deben enviar una captura de ya finalizada al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Thank you. I can see two people, Mr. Eduardo and Reina. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Catherine. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Thank you, Nuria. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, David. Thank you, Ursula. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, let me double check here. Oh, I can see yours again, Henry. Fifteen people. Eliminé la que le había enviado, teacher, porque se me había escapado ponerle el nombre. No worries, no worries. Let's see here. So, let me see here. Tengo 19 people here. Voy a tener 19 screenshots right now. Veamos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. I'm missing four people. Will, Mr. Luna, thank you very much. Okay, let's see here. Thank you, Evelyn. With that one, I got 17, so I'm missing two people. So let's see. Mr. Rivas, do you feel um, the form? What teacher? Yeah. You you completed the form, right? Yes, Carlos Enrique yes, Rivas. Teacher. Yes, Thank teacher. you. Thank you, Mr. Custodio. David Custodio. Let me see. Yes. Daniel, yes. Mr. Flores, yes. Edwin, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, 
Edwin and Mr. Pardo. Well, we are going to um, stop with this activity right here so we can continue with the class that we have before here. And uh, well, now we're going to uh, find the answers here together, right? So we can have this one right here, no worries. So let's see, it says number one. Do you actually have an answer for number one, my friends? No problem, and we'll finish with that one. Termine la envía, no problema. Igual para usted, Mr. Pardo. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh. Any volunteer for number one? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 the, my friends. The, the mom will do mm -hmm. washing up this evening. Washing up this evening all right excellent so what do you think people would you leave it like that yes or not yes teacher yes that sounds like the correct answer right will the man uh-huh or do you have an excuse me any other version mm -hmm. yes or no Yes. Okay, excellent. So let's just go on this one. All right. Mom will do. Uh -huh. Let me see this one. You said the mom will do washing up this evening. But I think it's a different one. What do you think? Hmm. Any idea? No. <laughs> no worries. No worries. No worries. I can check at this one here. Okay. So we go here, and then we go this one right here. What about this? Mom will do the washing up this evening. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's actually the correct uh, answer, right? Like this, mom will do the washing up uh, this evening. Why? We got a subject. We got here uh, the auxiliary will, then the verb. ¿Y qué es lo que va a hacer? Que es el lavado de los trastes o de los... Um, yeah, that's what we said here. ¿Y cuándo? So this evening. That's the reason why it goes like that. All right, so, but thank you. Thank you so much for participating with this one here. Uh, do you have any questions so far? No? Okay, what about number two? Me, teacher. Go ahead. What is your answer? Uh-huh. That's a question. Well, uh-huh. I think I lost it. No worries. Sorry, teacher. No worries. Si gusta, tal vez alguien más me está cargando por la señal. Se me... Okay, so anybody else who wants Me, to teacher. With number two? Go ahead. My will play games. My way. My w Sorry. My will. Play, play video games again. Okay, great, excellent. So, but that's not possible because it is a question. And with the questions, you use will first. So? Will Mike. Will Mike. Will, will Mike, Mike. uh-huh. Will Mike. Play, play again, again, video again, games again, 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 again. There you go. Will Mike play video games again, like that one. All right, so like that one. All right, great, great, great. 
Excellent. Anything else? Like this one. What about number three? Volunteer for number three? Yeah. Now you're ready. Okay, awesome. So tell me, what's your answer? Sally will walk, walk her dog this evening. All right, excellent. So you said it was going to be? Sally? Oops. Uh -huh. Will walk. And dog this okay evening. so guys you can see here as you can see here I'm this is just one example uh, the correct answer is what uh, Giovanni is saying but you can have the the, the, the information about the time so see cuando fue esta acción cuando será esta acción in this caso so at the beginning or at the end and it doesn't change this one so Sally will walk her dog this evening or it could be here this evening, Sally will uh, walk her dog, all right? In any of the cases can be possible. Did you understand that part? Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. So I was just trying to show you that it's also possible the other way around. What about number four? Number four, number four? Thank you, sir. Okay, tell me, what is the one you have there? Uh, they will go mm -hmm. to school on foot. Okay, very good. So it will be, you said, David will. Okay. All right, so I just add this one. All right, David will. No, no, no. Number so that one. four. Okay, number four. Uh huh. David. David. Uh -huh. Oops, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> okay. I want to finish it. <laughs> but thank you. Uh -huh. They will. They will. Uh -huh. Go to school. Uh -huh. On food. On food. All right. Yes or no, people? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Great, excellent. What about number five? Mm -hmm. What about Helen number five? Will... Helen will do her shopping on Saturday. Helen will do shopping on Saturday. Amazingly good. Okay, so let's see here. Helen, there you go, excellent, thank you. Like that one, yes or no, my friends? Well, her teacher, Helen will do her shopping on Saturday. Oh my goodness, no worries. Okay, so let's see here. Sorry about that. Okay, Helen will do her shopping on Saturday. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you, all right, so. And then the last one. David, David will become a chef, probably. Uh, ah, I guess like probably. Become a chef. All right. So yeah. like that one. That's the only thing. All right. So it probably needs to be about that one. Become a chef. All right. Excellent. Hey, guys. Do you have questions about this activity? No? All right. Thank you, Edwin, for sending the screenshot. Solo me falta Mr. Pardo. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Questions? No questions? No, no questions. questions. Excellent. Well, if you don't have questions for me, let's continue with the topic here. All right. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And now let's continue with this one. So this is actually something that we already reviewed last class uh, in advance because we need, needed to finish the um, um, assignments on the platform, right? So and now we are going to understand the differences between will 
or present progressive. Remember that both of them are to talk about future, right? And we are going to see here what are the differences that we might have here in those two things, all right? I need a volunteer who can help me to read this paragraph. Who can help me with that one, my friends? Volunteer for helping me? Thank you. Uh -huh. What is it? It is used to talk about future mm -hmm. intentions that are decided mm -hmm. at the time of speaking. Thank you. Spontaneous. Spontaneous? Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Offers, promises, and decisions. Decisions. All right. Thank you very much. All right. That was a good job. Um, my friend, so this is here. It is used to talk about future intentions. Intention. This is the key word right here. Intentions, right? That are decided at the time of speaking, right? It's something spontaneous. It's an offer. It's a promise, right? So, but it's just like, um, you know, something that it's not completely sure it's going to happen, right? We talked about that last time. And I need someone who can help me to read this one right here. Who can help me with that one? Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Um, it is used when plans and arrangements have been made. Thank you very much. It is used uh, when plans are arrangements. ¿Qué son los arrangements, my friend? Yes. Como Arreglos. Arreglos o acuerdos, right? Both of them are okay. Arreglos o acuerdos. Eh, let's see this one right here. And then you go on this one. Es decir, algo ya más seguro. Es decir, algo ya eh, in the future, pero que es más formal, más eh, seguro que is going to happen. All right. So then we have, for example, here, I will help with the documents. All right. En ese caso, estamos hablando de una offer. Right, or when I have here, they will ask about e learning options. Like, you know, that will be like something spontaneous here, or we will be on time. This is actually a promise. Then you go on this one right here with this one. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference, right? So, this is actually something that happens. The manager will go there for sure because the conference is actually algo que ya está arreglado, right? The servers are having training this weekend. The same thing here. The servers are having here. It's just actually uh, something that is already guaranteed porque ya está programado para this weekend. Or he is meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow. Tenemos ya hasta cuando y a qué horas, right? So that's the difference right here. And if you can see the difference between this ones right here, between this and this, it's that in here, no tengo yo like too many options like algo específico right like mañana a las ocho el, el viernes a las cinco etc right so I don't have that information which you can see this one right here right so you have actually that information there so do you do you understand the differences between those things yes or no yes yes all right excellent so questions at the moment Yes? No questions? No. Okay, no problem. So let's just continue with a very simple exercise that we can do here together. Take a look at this one. So uh, for example, in number one, it says, would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice, right? Porque sería aquí will, my friends. You know, um, I'm having. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, hello. Yep, yep, yep. Wait one second. My dear students, are you there? Yes, it doesn't say when, and it's algo espontáneo, right? So, en el momento que le ofrecen el jugo, usted dice, ah, yo voy a ordenar esto, for example, right? So no es algo que usted tenga que programar, by the way. Um, 
then you go on the next one. Number two, it says, I can come with you on Sunday. I, a training at the restaurant. So what would be the correct answer in that case? Mm -hmm. I haven't. I, what is it? I am having. There you go, exactly. Super important to what? The verb to be, right? So because it is actually necessary, you can say, I am having. Yep, 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 yep. I am having, like this one. Thank you, good job. So what about number three? It says, you look tired. I, you finished the documents. So what is it? We, I will help. I will exactly. help. Exactly. Why? Uh -huh. Why? Because it's not the, the, the day or the time. Right. And you are offering something. In this case, you are offering help. Mm -hmm. Right. So number four, it says the kitchen manager. This is similar to the example, right? The kitchen manager is? Flying. flying. Exactly. Very good. You got it. So it's flying. All right. To Italy on Friday, here are the tickets. Okay, great. And then number five. For number five, we have the owner. Mm-hmm. Will come. Mm -hmm. Will come. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see this one. Yeah, because it doesn't say when, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. And then the last one. He. It's in the world. All right. Ese parecía en la platform, right? So, pero había que ver ahí si era, for example, isn't, which is the contraction, right? All right, so is it working next week? Remember that it's exactly the same thing as having is not, right? So, but sometimes the platforms or the test, they have a specific answer and they want it in that way, right? As you can, like, no problem. Questions, my friends, here? No more questions? No, teacher. Okay, no other problem. So if you don't have questions for me, I definitely have questions for you. I have two questions. So we can start our conversation right here, all right? Take a look at this one. It says here, two questions. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? And how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training, all right? So those are the two questions that you are going to be answering, right? So, like, for example, if you said, are trainings implemented only to correct problems? So, like, the question is asking you guys, si los trainings solo se implementan para corregir problemas o para evitarlos. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Yes, what? <laughs> Tell me. In the company, in the company implement that use the equipment personal protection. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and what is the purpose of that? The purpose is uh, eliminate or no sé, evitar. How do you to say evitar? Avoid, avoid. Or avoid a uh, accident laboral. Mm -hmm. An accident in the job, all right? Ah, an accident in the job. Okay, and what else? Okay, okay, okay. Anything else? Any other answer? Yes, yes, yes. Or no? Hello, hello. All right, remember our trainings, right? It says here implemented only to correct 
implemented exactly implemented only to correct problems with the employee performance yes or no my friends Okay. Peter. Yes, my friend. Tell me. Voy a opinar por mí. That's fine. Pero se siente, se siente feo y raro que estemos. Una cierta cantidad de, de compañeros conectados. Y. Y como me dijo un gerente hace dos años, right. pareciera que soy un monólogo <laughs> y no tengo gente trabajando a mi lado. No veo, no veo una acción ni escucho una respuesta. Se right. siente feo, se siente raro, créanme. Y me pongo en sus zapatos, dicho. Thank you and thank you for uh, sharing your, your thoughts, right? And yeah, it definitely um, feels weird, but we're just waiting. Sometimes people are shy and, and hopefully they can participate. But that's why I have uh, here a uh, plan B, let's say, right? So we are going to like, um, I'm going to show you here, my friends, a, an example of an answer, right? So we can actually have a better idea of what I'm talking about here, right? So and I actually thank you very much, uh, Eduardo, right? So for sharing all those things, all your thoughts right here, okay? So let's see. Okay. One quick second. There you go. Okay. Just sharing the presentation right here again. So I'm just having a technical issue. One second. All right, so let's see. Okay, excellent. So we have there an example, of course, of how you can answer that question. Let me know if you can see the new slide. Okay, excellent. So I know that you might say that's a lot of text, but it is just an example of how you can answer the question. All right, it says here, no training, it's not just implemented to correct problems with employee performance. While training can certainly be used to address performance issues and improve specific skills or knowledge gaps. It also serves other purposes. Training can be utilized to onboard new employees, develop existing talents, enhance overall team collaboration, instill company values and culture, increase productivity, and prepare employees for advancement opportunities. Ultimately, the aim of training is to support and empower employees to grow and succeed in their roles, regardless of whether there are existing performance problems, right? So that is actually an example, of course, of the usage of a, the, the, the training, right? I wanna ask you something right here, my friends. Uh, do you have vocabulary? I mean, do you see vocabulary on this example that you don't recognize? So I can help you right now to, you know, get the meaning or the pronunciation. Teacher, certainly. That's certainly. Cer certainly. Yes, certainly. You know, do you okay. need only do you need only the pronunciation or you know the meaning in no. uh, Spanish? Meaning. <laughs> Ciertamente. In Spanish, please. Ciertamente. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. All right, what about the rest? Teacher, yeah. what is the meaning knowledge? Knowledge, my friend, means conocimiento. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, what is regardless? Regardless. Regardless, you said? What is? Okay, I just want to check. Did you say regardless? Uh, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Regardless. regardless, it means a pesar de todo. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? 
Any other words? So you know all the words? Teacher, ultimately, ultimately. Yeah. You want to check the pronunciation or the meaning? Ultimately. Uh, ultimately, ultimately in the meaning is por ultimo. Enhance. Thank you, Daniel. Enhance. All right. Enhance, it means improve. Weather, teacher? Ya sea. In this context, it's like that one. Uh -huh. Anything else? What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Any other word? Look at the paragraph and tell me if you recognize or oh, I mean, you can identify a word that you don't know. It's going to be new for you. So you can tell me how, you know, if you have questions about that. No questions? No, DJ. All it's right. Clear. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see here. Uh, I have a question for you here. All right. What is the meaning of aim? Hmm? To be sure. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, which is like three words, three, three letters, right? A I M, you know, this one. What is it? Aim, but it can be here yeah, as well. Sure. Mm, most likely, like apuntar a propósito, you know, like to pretend to be sure. Yeah, excellent, right? Excellent, thank you. All right, any other word? What is a gap? This one, what is it? Mm -hmm. We check it a couple of weeks ago. What well, actually brecha. last week? Una brecha, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ursula. All right, so I have been sharing all the words that you asked for are in the chat. So you can check it and take notes from there. Okay, now my friends, with the example I just, you know, project there, I mean, I just uh, gave you there. So you can just return to the breakout rooms and discuss about that, of course, right? And remember uh, that you can also uh, share this one, like how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? This is a personal answer based on your experience uh, in trainings in your jobs. Are they good? Are they effective? Are they useful? Or they are boring? Or, you know, any ex uh, opinion that you can express about the, um, the trainings that you have received. Now, before I send you to the breakout rooms, my friends, please make sure that you are talking because in the previous activities, um, you know, I entered to many of the rooms and you were not talking, you were just on silence in the groups. Remember the purpose of going to the breakout rooms, it's that you also participate and talk, all right? So let me see here. I'm going to recreate the rooms again. So I can actually say this one. Let's see. Uh, Noé? Yes. Hello, Noé. All right. Excellent. Yes, Nuria? Hello. Very good. Yes, uh, teacher. Eduardo, Jill, and Sonia? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Yes, teacher. Then you go like, um, let's see this one. Miguel Angel and Henry Giovanni. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edwin and Wilfredo Antonio. Yes, teacher. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Daniel and Moritza. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Excellent. Karen, Ursula. Yes, teacher. Thank you. And let's see this one. Carlos Rivas, Evelyn, and Guillermo. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my friends. All right. So remember that you had to discuss these two questions, of course, right? 
And then we are going to return to the main session again and we are going to share your answers, right? Do you have questions about this? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No? All right, excellent. So uh, let's just go to the rooms so you can practice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nuria Ursula, please. Uh -huh. Maritza, please. Edwin. Sonia, what happened, Sonia? Hola. What hola, hola. Yes. Sorry. Creí que tenía activado el micrófono. Este, no sé por qué me sacó del otro grupo, teacher. Este, Bye. estaba por compartirle las preguntas a Jill. No worries. No sé si fue usted que me cambió o, o la plataforma me sacó. No, sé. no worries. I'm going to send okay. you there right now. Ok. Creo que... What's up, Mr. Miguel and Mr. Luna? Mr. Luna, Mr. Luna? Mr. Luna, can you hear me? Okay, if you don't mind, Mr. Luna, I can send you to a different room and you can participate as a listener.
Okay, cool. You can join the group. Miguel, Miguel. Oh, problems with the audio. Okay. Well, let's see. Hello, hello, did you finish? No teacher. No teacher. Oh, okay, no problem. So I am going to be here. If you um, need help, just let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, I will go to a different room and then if you have questions, just let me know. Hello, hello, guys. How you doing? You finished? Yes, yeah, teacher. Great, excellent. So here I'm going to have my first volunteers. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, pero, 
si gusta se las se la leemos a usted para que nos dé su opinión of course no problem please go ahead ok in my case uh, the evaluation of the efficient of the training is very good since I in in this way the knowledge uh, acquired by the employees can be made maybe not since I in the employees have good training in the company production will be better okay you know like el contenido the content is actually good pero like let's just like try to give the intonation para hacer las pausas correspondientes y que no suene como like de corrido todo right okay okay so like for example you said like the training is important in the companies because it helps employees to have a better performance. And then you continue with the next part, okay? Okay, okay. Teacher. But yeah, good answer. Okay. Anybody else want me to check the answer? Henry, Nuria? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me your answer, please. Um, training carried out without management and without subsequent evaluation mm -hmm. is useless and does not contribute to quality. A process improvement and company growth. Uh, to have quality process, it is necessary to invest in solid training programs in, and training that truly generates learning. Yeah, that's actually correct. All right. So thank you. Thank you on that one. So you were doing a good job. I like it. So definitely volunteers. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> great, 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 great. There you go. Excellent. So time for us to close the rooms, right? So we can go back there. Aha, uh -huh. Ursula and Maritza, what happened? Okay. We are just waiting for everybody else to join the, the main session right here so we can uh, start listening to your answers. Very good. Okay, welcome back everybody. So here we are, so we can start checking this one. So now please tell me who is going to be my volunteer number one for the question number one, of course. Mm -hmm. Who's my first volunteer? Yep. Sonia, thank you, Sonia. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Our training implement only to correct problem why employee with performance, with employee performance, uh, no, training is implemented to prevent problem, to improve results and to estrange employees vulnerable or areas vulnerable, mm -hmm. areas vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually a good job, right? So just make sure, uh, Sonia, that you finish pronouncing the words. For example, when you said the word training, repeat it, training. Training. Exactly, right? So we have to listen to you saying training, like the nin at the end. Para que no suene como like train are important. Que no suene como que digas nada más train. And then you go with okay. the next one. Prevent, repeat it, prevent. Prevent. There you go, prevent, which it means prevenir, right? So prevent, the final T okay. there, all right? And then areas vulnerable, so we have to switch the position of the words. That will be? Areas vulnerable? No, we have to change the position of the words. What is it? Vulnerable areas. Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Vulnerable? Vulnerable 
vulnerable areas. 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 Thank you. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you for being my volunteer. All right. Any other volunteer, my friends? Thank you, Maritza. Go ahead. Uh, are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? Mm -hmm. Training is to avoid problems, develop skills, and provide new knowledge, knowledge to be more efficient in the job. Okay, that's actually good. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. All right, so good answer, by the way. Who's next? Minister. Thank you, Mr. Membrano. Go ahead. Trainings are implemented to correct one with the employees mm -hmm. and to help prevent problems areas. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Membrano. Remember the pronunciation of the word implemented. Repeat it. Implementing. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. I need volunteers right now for the question number two. Who's the question number two? Uh -huh. That says, like, how do you evaluate the effectiveness? Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. Uh, in my opinion, in training carried out without management and uh -huh. without subsequent evaluation is useless and does not contribute to quality. Um, process improvement and company growth uh, to have quality processes it is necessary to invest in solid training programs mm -hmm. training that truly generates learning excellent so that's actually important because it says um, training that truly generates which it means something productive something that is going to be very helpful for everybody there right so great thank you uh, Nuria so who's the next one? Mm -hmm. Per duty shall, shall be measured by indicator. By indicators, all right. So what do you mean by shall be measured by indicators? Mm -hmm. What teacher? Uh, I guess refer what do you mean by should be measured with by indicators? Debe medirse mediante indicadores de desempeño. Ah, all right. So, se nos faltó la palabra development. Development o, indicators. O KPI. O KPI. Exactly. Absolutely. All right. So, thank you very much for that one. All right. And the last volunteer for the question number two. Who is it, my friends? Yes. Thank you, Ursula, right? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Well, I think it is important to talk with the employees about the training. And mm -hmm. also, we can make some evaluation. Mm -hmm. For example, one to one official certification exams are some ways to measure training effectiveness. Effectiveness, effectiveness. yes. Effectiveness. effectiveness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like when you mentioned the idea of one on one, right? So, because normally in the companies, we don't have those type of. Um, you know, situations, right? So we simply say like, um, you know, hasta que ya nos van a regañar por algo. So we have a one-on-one, -on -one, but no like any one-on-one -on -one session, right? So to talk about something that we can improve, all right? So yes, thank you very much in this one. So thank you guys for helping me participating in this one. So now let's just continue with the next activity here, which is going to be this one. So for this activity, you are going to also go to the breakout rooms, you will have to read the paragraph and then answer the three questions uh, at the bottom of this part, um, below the paragraph, right? So uh, I need a volunteer right now who can help me to read this instruction. Volunteer, volunteer, who's my volunteer? Read the following excerpt, excerpt about the importance and of evaluating the evaluating of evaluating, evaluating of the effect of training programs discuss, discuss, discuss the question discuss the question below with a partner with a partner all right thank you for being my volunteer mr uh, membranium i would like to give you a recommendation but for that i need you to please turn the camera on all right can you do that right now mr membranium okay okay let me see your camera Thank you. Okay, so now what you're going to do, my friend, it's do you have a pencil or a pen? 
Yes, so you're going to do this. Do it. Yes, in your mouth, like that. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm doing? With your pencil, you're going to put it here. Sorry, teacher. Look at my camera. Like this. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? No, it's you. Are you looking at my camera? My camera. Yes, my camera. teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, yes excellent. So. I'm trying to give you a recommendation. This is an exercise for you to pronounce, to, to practice your articulation, to pronounce correctly. Necesito que vea mi cámara, Mr. Membreño, para que vea lo que estoy haciendo. So you no, es que no, no me sale, teacher. Solo sale el logo de inglés corporativo. No, búsqueme el otro. Tengo dos que dicen inglés corporativo. Ahí no. estamos. Move la pantalla a tu izquierda. Y la galería. Y ah, ya, ya lo vi. Excellent. Va, good. Del pencil, my friend. Like this, you're gonna put it on your mouth like that. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Yes. Or no? Yes, teacher. Va, good. Ahora, yes. así, con el lapicero, like that, my friend. Vamos a leer la instrucción de nuevo. Aquí. Mm -hmm. Sí. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. The instruction. Yes. Read the, the following excerpt about the importance of evaluating the effect of training programs. Discuss the question below with a partner. All right. Thank you very much. Now remove the pen. Read it again. Una vez más, please. Okay. Read the following excerpt about the importance of evaluating the effects of training programs. Discuss the question below with the partner. Thank you very much. ¿Qué fue el propósito de este exercise? Hacer que usted articule de mejor manera para que pronuncie o termine de pronunciar las palabras, of course, right? So, ese exercise is applicable for everybody in the class, right? So, y eh, thank you, my friend, for participating with the exercise. Y le queda esa recommendation para que eh, pueda usted, por ejemplo, leer un párrafo de esa forma así, para que empiece a trabajar esa articulación y le cueste menos la pronunciation of the words. Thank you, my friend. Great job. Let's continue with this one. All right. So what are you going to do? It is going to be, as I said before, reading this paragraph and answering the questions. Um, let's say this one. I need another volunteer who can help me to read this paragraph here. All right. So just the first part here and another volunteer for this part here. Who's going to be my first volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Henry. Go ahead with the first training evaluation. Asking your employees what they do or the training is an important part of the evaluation or the the world development. Repeat it. De development. One more time. Development program. Mm -hmm. A training evaluation question. <laughs> question. Question. Questionary. Question. Where is Questionary mm -hmm. that the Chinese feel out upon completing the program is effective tool. Effective it tool. May, effective tool. It uh -huh. may be an electronic survey tool. It may a checklist or questionary. Questionary. Uh -huh. Questionary. Right after the training is over. After the training, it's over. Very good. All right. So thank you very much for tra trying here. 
Remember words that we need to practice, which is gonna be this one. So how do you say this one, my friends? Let's see if you remember it. How do you pronounce it? Questionary. Questionary, very good, excellent. So what about this one right here? Anybody else? You can participate, everybody here. Uh huh. How do you pronounce that word? Trainees. Trainees. Um, trainees. 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 Uh -huh. trainees. Yes, because trainees. remember that you have this word. This is training, training, training. But this is trainees. Trainees. Exactly. What's the difference between training and trainees? No idea, teacher. Training es, obviamente, de entrenamiento, of course, right? Y los trainees son las personas que participan de un entrenamiento, all right? Understand? So, yes. Let, yes, let's teacher. say, for example, let's, let's say that this is a training, this class is a training. So, I'm going to be your trainer, and you guys are my trainees, for example. Understand? Yes, yes teacher. Great, excellent. So, and then you go here, the pronunciation of this word. How do you pronounce it? Trainees. No, no, no. The next one has this one here. Effective. Effective. Repeat it. Effective. Effective. Thank you very much. Effective. All right. And then we have this one. How do you pronounce this one? Survey. 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 Repeat it. Survey. Survey. There you Survey. go. Excellent. So. And that's basically the whole thing. Thank you very much for helping me with that one. I need another volunteer for the second paragraph. Who's going to be my volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Please go ahead. A trainee should be focusing on the application of the new skills once your workers have started using the measures, the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must com combine mm -hmm. such information with objective evaluation to get a complete picture of training results. Thank you very much. That's actually very good. All right. I really, really, really appreciate it. All right. So now, my friends, that we have a practice, a, the reading of this paragraph right here, let's go to the questions uh, below the paragraph. Number one, I need a volunteer for helping me reading this one. Who's my volunteer? Mm -hmm. For number one, volunteer, reading, just reading. Yep. Hello. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? Thank you, uh, Ursula. So what are some alternatives to evaluate training according to this? Mm -hmm. What would be like some alternatives? Uh-huh. Any idea? For example, an electronic survey. Uh -huh, exactly, right? So, electronic survey. Es electronic survey es como la que ustedes acaban de llenar. You know, al principio de la clase, remember? Yes. So, that would be like electronic survey, right? En este caso fue through WhatsApp, right? So, Aquí se email, a checklist or questionnaire, right? So, checklist, right? Esa survey que ustedes llenaron también tenía un poquito de checklist, right? Les preguntaban de bueno, no muy bueno, excelente, etc. Right? So, you got this one. Y luego tenemos el questionnaire here, right? We... Ajá. Uh, uh, a training evaluation questionnaire. Mm -hmm. A tiny evaluation questionnaire, all right? Training evaluation questionnaire, all right? So, esas son como, like, three of the, like, some alternatives to evaluate the training, right? Te pasan una survey, una encuesta, you check a check, you verify a checklist, or uh, respondes un questionnaire, all right? All right, excellent. So, uh, number two, somebody who can help me to read number two? Yes, yes, yes. How do you? Measure, it's measure. The effectiveness of the programs. How do you measure the effectiveness of the program? One more time. How do you measure of the effectiveness of the program? This one, it's right here, my friend. And this is how you pronounce this word. Effectiveness. Repeat it. Effectiveness. 
Effectiveness. All right, exactly. Recordemos, esa es una palabra compuesta. Entonces tenemos aquí la palabra effective y luego ness. Right, effectiveness. Repeat it. Effectiveness. Thank you very much. All right, so we go on this one. And then, people, how do you measure the effectiveness of the program according to the, um, the paragraph? Mm -hmm. Yes. The second paragraph, teacher. Mm -hmm. What happens there? How do you measure the effectiveness of the program? Uh, a trainee should be focusing on the application of the new skills. There you go. Exactly. So the answer is right here. A trainee should be focusing on the application of new skills. That's the answer for number two. So we're going to put it like here. All right. So yes, that's correct. A trainee, a trainee, excuse me. All right. Oh my God, you confused me. All right. So a trainee survey focusing on the application of the new skill. All right. Excellent. Thank you. And then the last one, what is it? Mm -hmm. Can somebody help me to read it? Why should companies combine the result of training and the evaluation of the training? Mm -hmm. Why? In your opinion. Well, based on the paragraph, what is it? Yeah. Objective evaluation to get a complete picture of training. Exactly. Results. All right. So the answer is basically this one to get a complete picture of the training result. Exactly like that, all right, this one. Okay, very good, excellent. So you guys were doing a very good job. This is gonna be here, all right, excellent. So guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary? No questions about vocabulary? Mm -hmm. No teacher. No teacher. Okay, what excellent. Is, what, oh. what teacher i'm sorry what was it worker worker, worker. Trabaja, uh if you said worker like trabajador or which one what paragraph one or two uh, two okay yeah yeah workers it will be the same the same as this one employee Employees, workers, like empleados, trabajadores, you know, synonyms. Started, started, es have started. Este es el pasado de iniciar. Entonces, okay. Una vez tus trabajadores han iniciado, por ejemplo. Okay, okay, teacher, thank you. You're very welcome. Any other question? No questions? Okay, fine. Let's continue with the next part right here. All right. Thank you for helping me with this one. And now it's your turn. So we are going to create a basic checklist to evaluate a training you receive in your workplace. Use the model above as reference. So tenemos este training eh, checklist here. You know, ¿Qué vamos a poner eso? Entonces ustedes van a completar eso con your own information. So cuando recibieron un training. So let's see. Eh, veamos, eh, let's see, somebody who can help me right now. Let's see, Jill, 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 are you there? Not here. Okay, well, Miss Daniel, are you there? Okay, Daniel, let's remember, ¿Cuándo fue o la date que recibió su último training? ¿Qué fecha? Date. Um, the last week. The last no, week. The last so, month. November what? November. November 7th. November 7th, 2023. All right. And what was the name of the training or the purpose of the training? Mm 
Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llamaba ese training? ¿O de qué era el training? Um, se llamaba... I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> Any name? ¿De qué se trataba? Se, eh, safe in... Era, era acerca de... Era un festival de, no, de cinco aniversarios. So, okay. So, it was just like, you know, new activities, right? In the company. For example. All right. And then, eh, aquí va your name. So, you're going to ask us like Daniel. Me bring you. All right. Y quien impartió ese training? No dueño de la empresa. All right. The owner. All right. Excellent. And we are going to be doing this one right here. So, um, Daniel, now tell me, please. All right. So, how would you rate the overall quality of this training? Right. So, the question says, ¿Qué tan te, pare qué te pareció el training, basically? How would you rate the training? Excellent, good, fair, or poor? Good. Good. All right. So we got this one. How well did the trainer keep the session interesting? All right. Te pregunta number two. ¿Qué tan interesante mantuvieron el training los que lo dieron? Excellent. Good. Fair. Poor. Good. Good. All right. So how well did the program accommodate to your background and needs? ¿Cómo se adaptó a tu um, conocimiento previo y tus necesidades dentro de la empresa? Así como, like, kind of. All right. Good. Uh, how effective were the handouts? ¿Qué son los handouts, my friends? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es un handout? Uh -huh. Do you remember that? Handout? Idea. All right. Es el folleto. Le dieron folletos, no le dieron. They're they good, we're not they good. Fair. Fair. Oops. All right, and how convenient was the location? ¿Qué tan conveniente fue la ubicación? Excellent. Excellent, all right. And uh, the knowledge and the skills I gain from this program will be useful in my job. El conocimiento y las eh, habilidades que gané en este programa serán útiles en mi trabajo. Yes or no? Yes. Of course. Excellent. Thank you. Y aquí podemos like, finalizar, poner cuáles son esos conocimientos that you get at the end of this one. So, you got it, my friends? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Questions about what you guys are going to do? Mm -hmm. no, no questions? questions. No questions? No. All right, excellent. So now, please, let's just go back and work in the breakout rooms, my friends, so you can uh, continue with that one.
Yes, thank you. So you finished? No, did you? Okay. If you have questions, just let me know. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, tell me. Eh, manejo de estrés in English. So stress. How? What are you trying to say? Specifically. Como eh, es que eso no, no, nos enseñaron en atención al cliente y manejo del estrés que nos ocasiona los clientes. <laughs> so that would be stress management. Stress management. Okay. Management. Thank you. Correct. Ahí se lo dejo en el grupo. In the chat. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, pronunciación de fi fire fixtures. Bomberos. You mean, what are you trying to say? Bomberos? Eh, sí. Esos serían los eh, firefighters. Firefighters. Firefighters, yes. Okay, fire, fire, fighters. Fighters, fighters, correct. Fighters, fighters. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, well, we are going to stop right here so we can actually share the answers in the main class, all right? Okay. okay.
everybody. Welcome back to the breakout room. No problem. All right, we're just waiting for everybody else to join the class, okay? One moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the main session. So right now we are going to verify here who wants to share their uh, information here. All right. Volunteers? Yes, yes, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Hello? Volunteer for sharing their experience in the training. Love to share. Thank you, Sonia. Tell me, when was the training? On what date? Okay. Uh, October, October 6th. October 6th. Okay, excellent. So we talk about October 6th. Uh -huh. uh, the trainer is the compliance search. Compliance search. Um, I guess. Leo las para todas las preguntas. I will do it for you. All right. So, in what was the name of the training? Um, era eh, eh, la el la el entrenamiento del nuevo programa de búsquedas de compliance. New system, let's say. System. Ah, uh, okay. Right. System. Good. Excellent. Uh, new, so, new system de compliance. Some new compliance system. All right. Uh, how will you rate, right, the overall quality of this training? Yes. How? Mm -hmm. Is excellent. Excellent. And how well did the trainer keep the session interesting? Excellent. Okay. How well did this program accommodate your background and needs? It's excellent. Good. All right. How effective were the hand the handouts? Good. Okay. And how convenient was the location? Excellent. And uh, is in linear? Excuse me? Oh, online. 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 All right. So, and the knowledge and the skills you gain will be useful. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Right? That was actually very good. Thank you for sharing that. Any other volunteer? The last one. The last volunteer will finish, I promise. Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. When was the training? Um, 5 October. October 5th. Repeat it. October 5th. All right, excellent. So, which is written like this one, 5th. All right. Okay, uh -huh. tell me. What okay. was the name of the uh, course? Customer service. Uh huh. Yes. Um, okay. Stress um, management, you said that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, how how would you rate the overall quality of this training? Uh -huh. Good. Good. All right. Let me continue with that one. How well did the trainer? keep the conversation interesting poor oh my god uh how well did the program accommodate your background and needs good okay how effective were the handouts good uh, how convenient was the location excellent okay <laughs> did the skills and knowledge you gain will uh, will be useful yes Will the skills, yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am putting into practice how, how to handle difficult clients and stress management. Okay, great. Excellent. Well, everybody, thank you very much for, um, you know, 
joining the last class here. All right. So I truly want to say thank you so much, everybody here, for um, participating in all the activities, in all the classes right here. Thank you for reading the volunteers, right? Eh, espero que las recomendaciones que hayan recibido durante estas semanas puedan servirles. All right. So para las diferentes áreas que se han identificado that you need to improve. Right, and of course, I hope that you have learned, you know, many details here. Esperamos que también usted haya aprendido y, y tenga la satisfacción de que you learn something new, aprendió algo nuevo durante estas semanas. Para cualquier duda que ustedes tengan, estamos siempre a la orden. Ya tiene mi número, cualquier me puede escribir. Aunque ya no estemos en el mismo grupo, yo con mucho gusto le puedo hacer cualquier duda que usted tenga de sus clases en el futuro. All right. Thank you, everybody. It was a pleasure to be your teacher. Y Tal vez nos vemos más adelante, right? So, take care. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good bye, night. bye. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye bye, mister. Bye bye.